Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a home fragrance, I almost said haul, not a haul, an empties video. <laughs> Definitely an empties, not a haul. However, I will have a haul coming up relatively soon from Scentsy. That is the first time I've really hauled any sort of home fragrance in a, a really long time. I did purchase one candle from the semi-annual sale, but as far as any wax purchase, I have not done that since last year, 2020. Um, but I told myself that, you know, I was allowed to make one Scentsy purchase for each catalog. So the spring, summer catalog, and then the fall, winter catalog, because I do have scents that I really, really enjoy and would be really bummed if they didn't come back next year. So I did allow myself to do that. So I will have that coming in the next few weeks, literally with just like a 12, I have 12 bars coming of my absolute favorite scents from them um, for the spring and summer catalog and just to kind of stock up. So you will see that. But speaking of Scentsy, I have a whole bunch of Scentsy empties to share with you today, plus a few candles. So let's cut the chit chat and jump in to the empties. I'll start with candles because I think that's the funnest. I finished two candles this go around from Bath and Body Works and Island Margarita. This one burned pretty clear down. This is a beautiful margarita scent, sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. A quintessential scent from Bath and Body Works. Has been out for a really long time. I liked this and I would repurchase island margarita again. And then also I finished one from Homeworks. This is the Tropical Rum Punch. This is their, I think these are three wick candles. This was nice. I wish that this was a bit stronger. I actually ended up putting this in my bathroom because I felt like I couldn't get enough scent throw from it. But I really liked, I like a larger candle like this in my bathroom because I took bubble baths at night with it going and it just, it, it was a big enough candle that it gave off enough scent and enough light that it was kind of nice for that. So I ended up liking it more <laughs> for the ambiance of this type of candle than I did from the actual scent. Um, he does have a beach bonfire scent in this three wick uh, candle form, I guess is the, the phrase I'm looking for that I would like to try, um, but I have not tried that yet. I would consider purchasing this again, but I didn't feel like it was anything amazing. So it would probably depend on the price. Okay, and then on to wax. Let's start with the couple that are not Scentsy because like I said, the majority is Scentsy here. I have a couple of vendor waxes. This is just a, um, a sample from Super Tarts in the scent Walt. And this was like a lemonade fruity scent. Really effervescent, really sweet. I enjoyed this. I would maybe pick up a clamshell clam shell of this. It was really nice for kind of the spring and summertime. Um, another one that was nice for spring and summer was from the Bathing Garden. This is Big Top Lemonade. I got this in a wax um, kind of gift that was given to me. I believe this is from Adam. I don't remember for sure, but I think Adam sent me this, maybe. And I really liked this one. Very lemonade. It's almost like a mix of lemonade and pink lemonade. Really sweet, really tart, really fruity really, really lovely. Um, and once my wax collection gets smaller and I, you guys, I need to do, I said I was going to do an inventory and I haven't done it yet just because the idea of counting each of my wax melts again is for some reason daunting, even though there's less than there used to be, but I need to do an inventory because I really have made progress. Don't get me wrong. I have plenty left, tons left. I think I could get through it in like maybe two years two years, I think I could get through most of it. Um, but yeah, right now it, it's still overwhelming, but I am so proud of how much I have used up. Everything is like in drawers now that it used to not be. Everything is contained and I've actually made room for some other things <laughs> in where my wax collection is. So I really have made a lot of progress. That being said, the bathing garden is definitely a vendor that I want to try more of. I have just obviously not because I am trying to work through my stuff, but 
the bathing garden is on my list for when I get through more of my wax collection and I feel like I can purchase a little of wax, um, the bathing garden is, is definitely there. And then the last item that is not Scentsy, this is not seasonally appropriate, but from Sassy Girl Aroma, I finished Halloween Night, which is Bonfire Bliss Leaves and Toasted Marshmallow. This scent is amazing. I love it on cold. It is so beautiful, so perfect for the fall, and it really is quintessential of what you would think it would smell like on Halloween. You get that smokiness from the bonfire, that leaf scent, the creaminess from the marshmallow. It is so, so good. My problem with this is it is so unscented when you put it in your warmers. Like I will put this in every wax warmer in my house and all of my wax warmers right now have the remaining bits of this. Um, and it will smell great for like two hours and then I can't smell it anymore. And that's really frustrating for me. I really wanted this to be just amazing because it smells so amazing on cold, but it's just not a good performer for me. This is actually the second time I've had the scent from Sassy Girl. The first time was back in like 2017. I got it in one of her chunk bags. And then this was one of her brittles I picked up last fall when she had these available. And I was gonna save the rest of this for this coming Halloween. I mean, I had maybe this much left. Um, and so I, I've been sitting it in my drawer, like just kind of hoarding it for this next Halloween. And I pulled it out the other day and I was like, I need to just, I need to just melt this. <laughs> I need, let's just finish it. Um, because I don't, it's already so weak sometimes in general. I didn't want to let it wait until it got closer to Halloween. So, um, definitely not seasonally appropriate. A beautiful scent though. I would maybe consider purchasing this again, just because of how much I enjoy the scent, but man, do I wish this was stronger. So it's going to be one that I really have to think about purchasing again because I just, I want so much more from it, but beautiful scent. Okay. And then from Scentsy, honestly, a few of these things that you see here are ones that I have repurchased for my haul. Um, not a repurchase, but the first one I finished is Salted Caramel Toffee. I think this came back out in like their holiday collection. Yeah, there's a little like gift box wrapped on there. And I liked this better warming than I did on cold, surprisingly. Sometimes it's the other way around. But this was like a, like a really nice caramel chocolatey toffee scent. I don't think I would purchase it again, but I melted that in the kitchen and it really worked well in that area. Bonfire Beach. This is one that I do have some coming to me that's in that hall. Oh, and it is just a beautiful salty sea air toasted marshmallow, creamy. Oh, it's just so, so good beachy marshmallow scent. So you'll see more of that here soon. Caramel Apple Craze. This one was really, really juicy. This was like a um, summer boardwalk dupe. Caramel Apple, so, so sweet. Um, if you like summer boardwalk from Bath and Body Works, I would pick this up. And you know how Summer Boardwalk is crazy strong? This is also crazy strong. So I really, I do like that. And I have at least one more, if not two more, clamshells of that one. Pristine Waters. This is like a watery cologne scent. I only have maybe one or two of these left. Really enjoy this. Nice, fresh, clean cologne. Summer Holiday. This is also one that is coming to me because I love it so much. This is similar, not a dupe, but similar to the Boom Boom scent from Sol de Janeiro. You get that like toffee, not toffee, that caramel and pistachio kind of nutty scent. I love Summer Holiday. I feel like it's like a 50-50. Some people love it. Some people hate it, but I this is in my haul as well. I really enjoy it. So I picked up a few more of those. And then honestly, this might be this last one I have. It might be my new favorite from Scentsy. I'm really enjoying this one and that is in pink cotton. Ignore this jacked up wax melt. <laughs> I had kind of a crazy Scentsy order come a few months ago 
and some of these bars were looking a little jacked up but pink cotton wow I slept on this scent for such a long time because I don't really like laundry scents a whole lot but this is so good it's fresh and clean laundry but you get that like pink sugar powerhouse note it is beautiful so again, this is another one that is in that haul. And then there's one more scent I feel like um, that will be coming in that haul as well that I did not finish this to go around too. But yeah, I just wanted to replenish some of my, uh, my favorites. But that is everything. Those are all of my empties that I have used over the last few weeks. I really hope that you guys enjoy and I will see you in my next one. Bye.